I think that Bingham produced a vision of the West that was uh, really appealing and satisfactory, uh, first of all, to his existing clientele here in Missouri and in the West, but then uh, also in a new, for a new audience uh, in the East, in New York, where he showed a number of his river paintings. Well, I think that uh, the lives of these people uh, are interesting just by virtue of sort of the excitement that they had. Uh, there's, I think, a serenity in some of the images and then a liveliness in others. And so these are two qualities, you know, that we embrace today and look for in various ways, uh, even though it's a different time and a different context. I don't think he's really trying to communicate a specific message as much as he is trying to uh, present images of the West and of these boatmen uh, that were uh, on some level relatable and engaging to his audience. Well, it was definitely a slower time, but I think even just, you know, visiting a park, like we're here in Forest Park, I think you can recapture some of that same uh, proximity to nature, obviously not in the same way, but these were workers as well. They were uh, boatmen and we're seeing them uh, in the midst of their labor, but they're in, at a, a moment of pause. So really even just, you know, the breaks that occur in our day, I think are a parallel to that. It's you know, been decades since these pictures were brought together. And these are Bingham's uh, major works. Some of them are his masterpieces. And it's an opportunity to see these works in a new light. Uh, some of them are probably familiar uh, to our viewers, but we really see them in a new way when they're presented together and with the related drawings as well. What got you interested in Bingham and his life? I think when you're working with the American collection here at the St. Louis Art Museum, you can't help but be intrigued by this artist. We have an incredible collection of his work. We have a great paintings. Some of the important paintings uh, in the show are from our collection. And when you see those, when you see his election series, uh, which we own as well, uh, you can't help but be intrigued by uh, the uh, scope of his work. and. Uh, the uh, intensity that he brought to some of these subjects. Was there a personal thing for you? Uh, not a personal thing. I don't have a little story or anecdote about, about how, how I first engaged with him. But, but really, it is the experience of looking at these paintings and seeing that, that beautiful light that's in so many of them. And also, uh, I think reading the correspondence uh, helped me a lot, too, to get a sense of him uh, as a character and as someone who cared deeply about these works. <laughs> we have a great show about George Caleb Bingham, and we're presenting his river paintings and the related drawings and prints, looking at his engagement with the river and the ways in which he developed a really important process as he produced those paintings. I'd like to add that I think his portrait work is really important as we look at these paintings of the boatmen. Uh, his earliest depictions of the river that survive are in portraits, and I think his experience uh, presenting Missourians and Westerners in this very sort of respectful and dignified manner uh, carried over into the way that he would ultimately present the boatmen that people these paintings. This is a portrait where Bingham's trying to do something a little bit different than he normally did with his portraits. He's showing his sitter outside in a river environment, and this is one of the first paintings in which he's actually uh, depicting a river scene. And I think that uh, these first explorations of river imagery, you can see them carrying over into the river paintings in the end. If you look at this sort of uh, misty light, that is falling over the river. I think that's a, a light that you see in some of his paintings as well when he's showing those river boatmen. He's uh, looking at that quality of light on the river and bringing that into this portrait. I also think it's really lovely the way that the light falls uh, over the figure and then also over uh, this river area as well. So that sort of pairs the, the, the two areas visually, the river and then the, the sitter, Leonidas Wetmore as well. This is Bingham's Jolly Flatboatman in Port from 1857, and it's one of his later uh, river paintings. Uh, but he's still using that uh, pyramid form that you see in a lot of his works. It's a format that he relied upon, and it's one of the elements that gave his work some uh, kind of consistency and allowed him to build that stylistic brand uh, that he was hoping to create. Uh, there are a lot of uh, factors about this composition that uh, make it a great example of what set Bingham's work apart from that of other artists. He, uh, unlike a lot of other artists showing the river at this time, he focuses on these figures and they really dominate the scene. They block our view of the river beyond in a lot of ways. And uh, he's positioned the viewer really close to them, you know, we're sort of right here on the dock at, uh, near the boat. Uh, we're not at a distant remove. And um, 
This is also a location that's uh, a little bit ambiguous as far as exactly where we are. It may be St. Louis, uh, but you don't see any of the landmarks of St. Louis in this composition. And we do know it's the Mississippi River because in his correspondence with one of his friends, he says that he's working on uh, a picture of life on the Mississippi. Uh, so he, we know that uh, that is the river depicted in this painting.